Here we'll take a look at radicals and make sure we know how to name each part and what each part means. This symbol shown in green here is called a radical sign. A number written just above the V part of the left side of a radical sign is called the index of the radical. And any number written under the radical sign here is called a radicand. Here we're showing all three parts of a radical. Make sure you know what each of these parts is called, as you will see them a lot. The radicand is the number we're taking the root of, and the index is which root we're taking. For example, if n equals 2, we're taking the square root. Square roots are by far the most common roots we take. For that reason, we often leave out the 2 where the index goes. So if no index is shown, we assume the index is 2, and we're taking the square root. So this expression, with no index shown, and 36 under the radical sign, means we're taking the square root of 36. And we know that the square root of 36 is 6. This means that 6 multiplied by itself is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Here we have an expression where the index is 3 and the radicand, or number under the radical sign, is 64. This means we're taking the cube root of 64. And we know that the cube root of 64 is equal to 4. This means that 4 multiplied by itself 3 times is equal to 64. 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 16 times 4, which is equal to 64. In this expression, the index is 4 and the radicand is 81. This means we're taking the fourth root of 81. The fourth root of 81 is equal to 3. This means that 3 multiplied by itself 4 times is equal to 81. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. So now when we see a radical, we know what these parts are called and what they mean.